Hello and today we are going to talk about how to represent QN number on number line. Now before I start with the examples, let us revise some of the concepts about number line. So what is number line? Number line is simply a horizontal line. It is simply a horizontal line like this one which extends infinitely on both the sides. This arrows show that the line is extending infinitely on both the sides and on number line you can represent any number be it a fraction or an integer or a whole number anything any kind of number even a rational number or a rational number can be represented over a number line now usually the center is represented by zero this is the point which divides the positive part and the negative part as we move right end uh, that is uh, towards right of the zero it is positive and keeps on increasing. As we move on left, we get negative and it keeps on decreasing. Now, we can represent, as I said, we can represent whole numbers and I am going to represent whole numbers right now. So, let me divide the number line into uh, number of segments and and these uh, such kind of divisions will keep on going on on both the sides as it is infinitely long. Now, the very first number would be 1, 2, 3 and 4 and next would be 5 and then it would be 6 and 7 and we'll keep going and on this side it will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4 and then minus 5, minus 6 and so on and so uh, these are the whole numbers and uh, integers sorry because we have included negative numbers too. Now, this, the distance between 0 and 1 would be equal to 1 and 2, would be equal to 2 and 3, and which will be equal to any damped division on the number line. Uh, but that is because distance between 0 and 1 are one, uh, is one pair of number, and the next number, which is at an equal distance, that is at distance of 1. Uh, let me explain this a bit in detail now. The distance between 0 and 1 is 1 unit. And distance between 1 and 2 is also 1 unit. So you, see, you simply have to add 1 to 1 to get 2. Let us add one more 1 to 2, you will get 3. So likewise, the distance is constant. Just like that, you have to subtract 1 from 0. And the distance still remains positive, that is 1. That is because distance can't be negative. Distance is always positive. This will also be 1. That is 1 unit. Now suppose, suppose you want to represent yet another number between 0 and 1. Like say 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Then this will be equal to 1 by 2 and this will be equal to 1 by 2 to make up this 1. So this is how uh, numbers are represented. Now, you, if you want to represent 1 by 4, it will be somewhere over here. That will be 1 by 4. And th uh, theoretically, you can represent infinitely many points between any two points on the number line. Uh, this is uh, some basic idea. This was to give, you, to give you some basic idea about the number line. And now, I'll start with some example. Now, represent five by two and minus five by two on number line. Now, this is what we have to do. It is our task, and we will try our best to accomplish our task. Now, first of all, let us draw the number line. Now, this is the number line, and let us mark our zero. This is zero. Now, you have to represent five by two. Now, five by two is basically equal to uh, two point five, and you can, if you have a graph paper, and then you can precisely point it somewhere but if you are drawing this in your notebook or where you don't have graph how to do this first of all you have to locate point 5 
and minus 5 on the number line. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and minus 5. Okay, so this is 5. Now you will ha you are having this distance. This distance, say it as x. Now you can choose length of this division as one unit uh, or as one centimeter. So you can take the scale. Like uh, for this case, I would say uh, one unit is equal to two centimeter. That is this distance, the distance between zero and one on scale. I would take two centimeter. So this will be 2, this will be 4, this will add up to 6, 8 and 10. So you are having 10 centimeters. Now you have to represent 5 by 2. And why I am taking this as 1 unit is equal to 2 centimeters? That is because I have to divide that by 2. So if, it were, if the number would be divisible by 2, it would be convenient for us to locate the point over here easily. If you will, if in case if you were to have taken 1 unit equal to 1 centimeter, then what would happen is, you have to draw 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this distance would be this distance would be simply 1 unit so 0 to 5 would be 5 centimeter and when you divide it by 2 it will be 2.5 and you, you may have to uh, deal with decimals that I try to avoid while representing numbers on number line so 1 unit is equal to 2 centimeter in that case you get x is equal to x is equal to 10 centimeter and, th and now divide this by 2 and you will get 5 so it would be somewhere over here it would be somewhere over here and that will be your 5 by 2 same way for minus 5 by 2 draw this as the scale remains same for this part 2 this will be y I am representing this distance as y and this will also be 10 centimeter and then this will be minus 5 by 2 so technically what you have to do is first draw the number line then plot the points of the numerator that is 5 and minus 5 that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 then then divide that distance by the denominator that is 2 suppose 0 to 5 is uh, here we have taken 10 centimeter divided by 2 then it, that will give you that point will give you the required fraction now how to decide the values of x and y logically it is a bit clear all you have to do is to select such a value that is divisible by denominator easily if you still have any confusion all you can imagine is simply multiply the numerator with denominator 5 by 2 is 10 and that if you will take that length as 10 centimeter that would be fine but at times you may find it difficult because the length of notebook won't be 20 centimeters so in that case you may need to go to you may need to go for decimals in that case what would you do is uh, let me explain with some another sum represent eight by three and minus eight by three on number line now first of all draw the number line mark zero then one two Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is eight. One, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, and minus eight. This is minus eight. 
0 to 8 and 0 to minus 8. Now, now divide this by 3. Now, so technically your distance, your distance should be such that it is, it is divisible by 3. That is, you can take this as 24 and then divide it by 3 and it will be 8. So if this complete distance is 24, then 8, you have to divide this by 3. So it will be 3 8 are 24. Now, where would uh, this be? 8 by 3. 3 to the 6. 2 is a reminder. Decimal goes up. 3 6 is 18. And 2 as a reminder. Now this will keep on going. That will be a uh, non terminating case. And then it will be somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. Now, in such case, it is always better to uh, point this approximately. The examiner will understand that this such cases can't be represented approximately in the number line. And so. Uh, you will be getting the marks for it. This won't be a problem. But yes, again, 24 would be a problem. So what you can do is instead of going for 24, instead of going for 24, instead of going for 24, just just let me remove this entirely. Because 24 centimeters is difficult to represent on uh, the notebook. Not 24, but you have to uh, add 24 plus this 24. That is 48. It is going to be difficult to represent in the notebook. So what you can do is, see here concept is important and we should be ready with what you have to do in exams because that is what creates problem. If we directly see, get into the such space problem in exam, it is really going to be difficult and can we create some problem. So what you can do is, represent Take this entire distance as 8. This entire is 8. Then 8 by 3 would be 10. 8 by 3 would be still you will get the point over here only. The only difference will be the size. The size of your number line would be small. That is because you are reducing the scale. That is it. Now I hope uh, you have this clear in your mind. Uh, you can represent one unit as one centimeter or you can represent one unit what is the one unit this distance with distance between zero and one is one unit one and two is another unit two and three is another one unit so it is one unit is one centimeter or you can represent one unit as five centimeter also so it's just up to you what you scale you want to do if you will choose one unit is equal to one centimeter the size of the number line would be small if you choose one unit is equal to five centimeter size of your number line is going to be big even if you want to reduce the size further you can choose one unit is equal to 0.5 centimeter but this will lead to extreme clumsiness you won't be able to locate the point properly so in this case uh, if you have uh, some space restrictions you should go for this and always try to go for the maximum possible scale that is because it will give you more accuracy and neatness too uh, so that is all about representing a number on a number line. Thank you.